Hello and welcome to Chawton House. Chawton House is an historic country house, gardens, estate and library in the beautiful village of Chawton in Hampshire, England. Although the oldest parts of Chawton House are Elizabethan, it first came into the Knight family in the late 16th century. The freehold of the house and estate remains in the Knight family, but Chawton House is now run by the charity on a near 100 year lease. To have kept the property in the family for such a long time has taken some ingenuity, not least that anyone who inherits the Chawton House estate or marries the owner has to take the Knight surname. And it is how it came to be owned by Jane Austen's brother Edward and how she came to live in the village of Chawton. In the late 17th century, Elizabeth Martin Knight inherited Chawton House after the death of her two older unmarried and childless brothers. It was extremely rare for a woman to be a landowner. Having protected her property and outlived her two husbands, William Woodward Knight and Bulstrode Peachy Knight, but with no heir of her own, Elizabeth chose to pass her estates to a cousin, Thomas Brodnax. It set an important precedence. When Thomas Knight married Catherine, they set off from their home at Godmersham Park in Kent on a honeymoon tour of their lands. It included the parish of Steventon in Hampshire, where the Knights could appoint the vicar. That was a distant cousin, a Reverend George Austin. When they travelled to Steventon, Thomas and Catherine met George and Cassandra's third son, Edward, then about 12, fell in love with him and took him on the rest of their honeymoon, and then arranged for him to undertake the grand tour in Europe. Thomas appointed Edward as his heir, and although Catherine initially inherited the estates on Thomas's death, after a little while she decided to pass them immediately on to Edward. Edward and his wife Elizabeth made their home at Godmersham Park, creating an extraordinary library which was well used and loved by his sister Jane. In 1809, Edward made a cottage on his Chawton estate available to his widowed mother and unmarried sisters, Jane and Cassandra, and their friend Martha Lloyd and it is from the cottage that Jane completed the six novels, which now make her one of the best known and celebrated British authors. Edward stopped letting out Chawton House so it could be used by the family, and shortly afterwards, he and his 11 children moved in for a whole summer when Gomersham Park was being renovated. The Austin women knew it as the Great House and were regular visitors. They would walk the estates and the gardens, and the table in the dining room is still the one which they dined at. By the late 1980s, when Richard Knight inherited Chawton House, the property was in need of extensive repair. Storms in 1987 and 1990 ripped through the gardens. Richard, Jane Austen's fourth great-nephew, met the philanthropist and bibliophile Sandy Lerner, who established a Chawton House Library charity in 1993. After 10 years of extensive renovation and the amassing of an extraordinary library of 15,000 works by early women writers and a rare collection of portraits, Chawton House Library opened to scholars from around the world as a centre for early women's writing. Chawton House is also home to the night collection of portraits, furniture and ephemera that had remained in the house and much of it would have been familiar to Jane Austen. And what remains of Godmersham Park Library about 500 books that sat on the shelves where Austin spent many months now has a home at Chawton and is available for study and display. Since 2017, Chawton House has transformed again and is now a self-sustaining charity that earns all our own income through visitors, events, weddings, catering, retail and through the generosity of supporters across the world. The house and gardens are open to the public, welcoming 20,000 visitors a year many of whom also enjoy lunch or a traditional afternoon tea in the old kitchen tea room. Our library is still open to scholars from around the world and we use the collections and scholarship in our changing displays and exhibitions in the dedicated exhibition space that was created with the support of the North American Friends of Chawton House. There are events, workshops and tours throughout the year, light trails, writer tours, gothic suppers and country fairs that bring the whole community to Chawton House. And the parkland is open for free for everyone to walk and wander and enjoy the unspoilt 19th century Hampshire views in our corner of the South Downs National Park. And since 2020, we have a rich and varied online programme. 
to bring all that we do to those who cannot cross our threshold. Online literary festivals, garden tours, talks and study days bring the story of Chawton House and the extraordinary early women writers to thousands around the world. There is an online shop, our digital publication The Female Spectator and online versions of our displays. Chawton House is where you can uniquely experience all that influenced Jane Austen and know both on site and online. Austen wrote, I went up to the great house between three and four and dawdled away an hour very comfortably. And know you, too, can do the same. You can walk in her footsteps through the parkland, stand in front of the same great hall fireplace, look at the portraits she passed on her way through the great house, sit in the gardens overlooking the church she worshipped at, and read the works of the authors she knew and was influenced by, and the books that sat on the shelves of the library, where she was mistress of all I survey.